Hello everyone, this is Human, and in this tutorial I'm going to simulate the uh, three-dimensional hinge joint, so stay tuned. At first, we need to curate, uh, create our part in the part section, so uh, the part would be 3D deformable solid extrusion. Uh, the dimension of these parts are not uh, pretty important to us. Um, so we need to uh, create two circle, one here and one here, and then uh, rectangular. Keep this dimension. And you can this uh, you can use this icon auto trim to move some lines that you don't want like this. So this would be your uh, part with the depth of uh, ten millimeter. And this is the final part. So the uh, next thing you need to do is go to the property section to define the mechanical properties. There's no need to uh, define the density for this uh, part, a uh, particular part. Go to the elastic section to define the elasticity. So the Young modulus would be 210 e to the power of 3. And uh, new would be uh, point three three, and click OK. And then the category would be solid homogeneous. Click continue, and then assign the uh, properties to our part. So um, the next thing to do is to create another part. Um, so the only thing you need to do is go into the branch section uh, in a model in a part uh, section. Right click on the part one and then copy it and name it part two and click OK. So uh, right now we have two uh, similar model model uh, so the part 2 has the exact same geometry and also mechanical properties of uh, part 1. Uh, next thing you need to do is uh, going to the assembly part and bring our two parts uh, dependent together and then translate our part 2 from here to end point here and click OK and afterwards going to step to create our step as uh, initial static general click continue so uh, the analogium is off we don't need to uh, nonlinear geometry uh, and the time period is one second so go to the incrementation and um, choose the initial minimum and maximum increment size as uh, point 0.1 so it's just uh, because of the uh, visualization purpose it doesn't adversely or positively affect the results um, in this way uh, we'll have 10 steps uh, at the end for our results so it's just for the visualization purpose and click OK uh, next uh, you need to go to the interaction section um, at first um, create uh, two reference points for defining um, the rotation um, condition uh, so 
go to the tools reference point reference point one would be here and reference point two would be here defining the reference points uh, will help us to define the rotation conditions um, so at first we need to uh, create the wire feature from uh, between our two reference points again this is for uh, defining the rotation condition in the hinge joint so click OK and then uh, go to the connector section to define a hinge joint and as well we can see the diagram and notations of the hinge joints uh, in this section connection type diagram and continue so in this part you can define a low friction here like uh, points of one and click OK and next thing to do is create the connector so go to the uh, go to create connector assignment section uh, to assign the hinge joint um, to the selected to the to our uh, wire mesh so uh, select the defined wire mesh and done uh, go to the orientation one part and you need to create a coordinate system so uh, click create datum coordinate system to define our uh, local coordinate system and it would be rectangular click continue so our first point would be this and then reference point 2 and then this point so uh, I just created our local coordinate system so that I can uh, define the uh, rotation condition with respect to uh, the local coordinate system instead of uh, the global coordinate system and then you need to just uh, choose our defined coordinate system local coordinate system and click OK um so um in this way the orientation will define with respect to the local coordinate system and this is pretty important to us for uh, creating this model and then go to uh, create constraint in the type section you need to uh, consider display body continue um, so at first choose uh, first part with no motion and again go to display body continue choose the second part with uh, in a motion control you need to um, consider follow single point and this point would be our reference point two so uh, part two will orient with respect to uh, the reference point to point and click OK so next thing we do is going to the load section to define our boundary conditions so uh, the first boundary condition is uh, symmetry symmetry and caster uh, for the part one click continue and then it says select regions uh, for the boundary condition you need to select reference point one and click done and use in caster so it locks all the degree of freedoms uh, also you need to know that uh, this is um, with respect to the global coordinate system um, by default but you need to change it to our uh, defined um, local coordinate system instead of uh, the global coordinate system so you need to choose our 
define local coordinate system and click OK. So uh, next you need to uh, define the second boundary condition um, for the part two. So you need to um, use uh, display displacement rotation as it going it is going to uh, rotate. So click continue, and then you need to um, choose select the reference point two. Click done. Um, so uh, part two is going to rotate uh, about uh, the x axis. Uh, for 180 degrees so you need to uh, define for uh, UR1 as uh, 3.14 uh, because it's radians and also again you need to uh, change the uh, defined coordinate system uh, the default one because it's uh, global and you need to uh, consider the local coordinate system that we we've already defined. So uh, choose again our defined uh, local coordinate system and click OK. So uh, we just um, created our boundary conditions and the next uh, level would be going to the job section and create our job. Again, you don't need to change the parallelization because um, the two processor is um, enough for uh, this particular design and simulation. And going go to the job manager section and uh, submit your model and click OK. So I just submitted our model. You can uh, go to the monitor section to see step by step um, of the procedure and the solution here and you can see here that the job input file has been submitted for analysis so after one minute or so uh, you uh, completely get the results and if you go to the monitor section you can see step-by-step uh, -step, um, solutions and as we uh, said and, and uh, as we expected uh, there there is 10 increments as we defined so the whole simulation was uh, one second and we defined each increments as uh, 0 0.1 so uh, it is 10 total 10 increments and uh, 10 steps so if you uh, go to the results this would be our simulation and you can um, go to this section animation options to slow down your simulation a little bit and as you can see also uh, if you go to uh, the frame selector it would be 10 steps 10 frame if you click here you can see each step step by step um, yeah actually uh, the simulation um, is could be very helpful in lots of industries and companies I uh, hope uh, that it will work for you and it would be helpful for you guys. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please give us your feedback. Uh, we will always be happy to hear back from you. Uh, also, if you need a video of a particular simulation, let us know uh, so we can make it make them uh, for you. Uh, again, um, thanks and uh, bye till the next video.